seriousness. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Life Hope Podcast. I am your host, Joey. And with us today is Kyle and Krista Torres, JD Power and Associates, oh, and Wiley Ellis. All right, I got you guys. Oops. All right, everybody, sit back and relax. We're going to start off with entertainment news. And of course, as always, D and Wiley, take it away. What, what All happened? right. Uh, and, you have entertainment news? You know what, Kyler? Do you have any news? No, but I like to be included. You know, I, I understand. Yeah. Honestly, oh, Darren, um, look like you're going to speak. Yeah, I'll start it off with something light, but pretty cool, but also might be not cool, but it depends. Uh, Jason Momoa is finalizing the contract to be in the next Fast and Furious movie. The final oh, Fast and oh Furious movie. Oh, man. No, no. Because you know what? They say the really? final one, but this is going to end up, they're going to stretch it to another two or three movies, and then they're going to make like eight spinoff movies. It'd be a step up from DC, though. <laughs> Well, honestly, listen, the Fast and Furious franchise is still better than DC EU. Like, yes, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, oof, that's that's tough because <laughs> with every DC movie, a part of me still says this could be good, but with the last Fast and Furious movies, I'm like, this is going to be garbage. <laughs> and also, go anyway, also it's still better. I think, I think we discussed this before, but the there are still better, comic yeah. book movies, so there's a certain level of like feasibility that you can just like okay they're superheroes true, 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 true. Vin right, Diesel right. is not Superman as much as he tries to be <laughs> he's not a superhero <laughs> he cannot physically do 80% of the things that he does in that movie right, right, right. I, I think his shirts are the real superheroes <laughs> very wrong wow, say, for staying man. together you're the worst <laughs> wow, man. grow up D grow up <laughs> so, um, also uh, Dane DeHaan, the Green Goblin from The Amazing Spider-Man 2, uh, for those who you know, don't Chronicle. know by the name. Chronicle. Yes, okay. also the one of the protagonists His name in is Chronicle. Dane? Dane DeHaan. Mm-hmm. Dane DeHaan, yep. He uh, has joined Oppenheimer for... Ooh. That's Christopher Nolan's new film. Oh, yeah. And okay. when I read that's Oppenheimer good. for Universal, it's so weird seeing Chris Nolan doing a Universal like back movie. I was like, oh, it's just... Did you also? Did it you guys weird. know Syncope is his company? Yeah, we've talked about this. Kyle said that. Told you that yeah. last yeah, last yeah. episode. Yeah. <laughs> well, I haven't. I'm uploading it tonight, but the, yeah. you looked it up oh, and okay. confirmed it for him too. Yes, yeah. that's right. It's I was him and his. I think it's him and his wife. Ex- that you said. Brother. Right? Oh, his wife. oh, it's his wife. Or, I wasn't sure if it was his wife or his ex-wife or something. Or maybe. Like that, yeah, yeah, it could be. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, because we were talking. You were talking about how much he made off of. Was it Interstellar? Yes, Interstellar. Yep. Yeah, and then the Kyler, million. Yeah, and Kyler was like, I think he uses his own production company too, so it's like extra money also or something. Like yeah, that, so. that's so cool. DiCaprio has a production company too. He that's he right. produced um, oh well, Wolf of Wall Street, which made dumb money. He's done a lot of big movies. He produced it. that movie himself. Yeah, it, it was his company, but he's produ- I mean, I'm pretty sure he's credited. Isn't oh, he wow. producing the Jim Jones one? That he that you mentioned, uh, yeah, oh, yeah I you're right. I'm really excited for that movie. Yeah, that movie should yes. be really good. And I'm uh, excited for Killers Adam, of the Flower Moon this year. Adam Sandler has a production company as well. I don't know if you guys. Know. Oh, Adam Sandler's I, filthy rich. Yeah, that guy is like stupid. Like he has way he's too set, much money. He's set for life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for that and the afterlife, he's worth half a billion dollars. That's disgusting. Oh, yeah, oh, God. it's oh, like people goodness. think he's rich, and then you hear that, and you're like, oh, he's got ridiculous money yeah Sheesh. did you and you know who his wife is yeah the one that's all in oh, all his movies no. if when i show okay i'm gonna pull it up oh now. yeah Literally, i think you're, like, you're talking about yeah she's in every single one of his no nah, she's <laughs> yeah <laughs> she's in every one of, and now in his new movies he always has his daughter or one of his kids also that's gotta be pretty cool yeah right he's out of sandwich to the point especially with his production company where yep. yeah no way yeah Yes, the one that's in all the movies, mm-hmm. ridiculous. Oh. Shit. She's always, she's always in like. <laughs> a always cameo. that crazy one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <The crazy> <laughs> He's he's literally at the point where like he's like, okay, guys. <laughs> you guys are idiots. <laughs> okay. Oh. Yeah, he's literally at the point where he's like, hey guys, uh, he, he probably has a group chat with all his actor friends, you know, <laughs> yeah. Kevin James, Chris Rock, 
You know, David Spade. I want to do like, a thing. He's like, guys, let's do a movie, but let's do it on location. So it's pretty much just a vacation. We're not really filming. We're just joking around being friends. But they film us the whole time. And that's <laughs> this podcast. For yeah. Us as a friend group. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's, millionaires. Yeah. And, yeah. and uh, yeah, I'll produce it. So, you know, we'll just have some fun. Do whatever script you want. It could be improv the entire time. And I have a ridiculously hot wife as my wife in the movie for some reason. And yeah, <laughs> yeah. we're good. And then they're just living the life. That's all. Yeah. Now, it, it, it is actually pretty cool when you think about the fact that he came up with them from SNL yeah. and mm-hmm. has done all these movies with them and all that stuff. It's pretty awesome. That, that is very respectable because yeah. to, to have like your friend group and maintain it not only throughout like Hollywood and stuff where there's always yep. some like crazy thing going on, but to then include them in pretty much like all of your prod uh, projects in some way, like Rob Schneider is in every one of Adam Sandler's movies. Oh yeah. my goodness. Yeah. Yes. Like without fail. Do it. Yeah. It's, I, it's, that's really cool. I feel like, especially after what happened with Chris Farley, I think he, yeah. I think he just really wanted to keep all his friends close for as long as he can, I, because yeah. like that was like a big hit to a, a lot of them. Um, yeah, that was tragic. Did you know? I'm sorry, little, because we talked about SNL and Chris Rock or whatever. Did you know Chris Rock, at like 50 years old, got diagnosed with autism? Did we talk about this ever? He yes. didn't. He didn't know his entire life. He had. He struggled with autism. Yeah, it's called high, high functioning, right? High functioning. Yeah, something like that. Because wow. um, if I'm correct, autism is one of those things that it's, a spectrum. it's not. It's not a spectrum. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you can like look at like Elon Musk. Well, he has Asperger's, but is that is that uh, on the spectrum there? Or? Elon Musk has so. Asperger's. Yeah, it's a it's a, I believe it's a form of autism. Not 100 yeah. percent certain, but I think it's it's a form of. Autism. I, yeah, he I'm announced sure it on either. SNL. He was like, wow. "I'm the first host with uh, Asperger's," and we were all like, "Oh, look at that!" And it makes sense because when you have that, if I'm correct, um, you have a tough time reading social cues or sarcasm stuff like that mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. i was like oh it's like abed right sort of he uh, is on well, the spectrum he's on the spectrum i don't know they said that he had it but yeah it was I more like know. a joke i don't think that i'm not sure if he actually did yeah if if you do want to see i'm not a huge fan of medical dramas personally but I do have to say, the good doctor. The good doctor, yeah, yeah. is it's yeah. a very entertaining show. I've seen, I've seen <laughs> like episodes admit. here and yeah. there, and it is pretty good. Yeah. He plays that part well. Yeah, and I don't. That, okay, if Dustin Hoffman won an Oscar for Rain Man, uh, Freddie Highmore, I think is the the actor's name. Some of his scenes when he has his like breakdowns are absolutely insane. Like he needs like an Emmy or something for, it's tough. for that show. Yeah. That it's so well done. It's, yeah, I've seen a few. I feel like I I tried watching it. Like I, I watched like the first two episodes to see. Okay, can I get into this? And it's interesting. But mm-hmm. I, yeah, medical drama. Like I can't binge it. It's like, tough. I, I yeah. Can't, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Wiley, you it's, got the uh, next piece. Sure. Yeah. Um. So recently. I know we're going to get into some like a little bit of trailer talk. So we got a Moon Knight trailer. I don't know if we mentioned that before. Um, I think we did. Some trailers mm-hmm. that we haven't got yet, but we know are coming out is Miss Marvel and She-Hulk. Um, all three Ms. of those Marvel. all three of those shows have been confirmed to have multiple seasons, not just a one-off. Oh, dang. Really? Yeah. Huh. She-Hulk, Miss Marvel, and Moon Knight. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Plus Loki. Loki also has another season. So Yeah. They're yeah. filming soon. Yeah question what is the next thing on disney obi-wan marvel wise or everything anything obi-wan um, in may in may that's too much no no there's something before Ms. That. marvel maybe it's something not star wars related that uh ends sometime in may and i cannot remember what it is for the life of me I don't know what the next thing right? is after Let's Boba see. Fett. Disney That's release a schedule. That's fine question. Um, geez. Um, yeah. Sorry, guys. Yeah, guys, sorry. No yeah. dead air. We're just... Uh, oh, well, Moon, <laughs> Moon Knight is March 30th. January. Okay, so oh. it's Moon Knight. Moon Knight. Yeah, yeah, and Moon Knight's gonna it has enough episodes to carry into May. Right. Yep. It's that many? Um, yeah. Well, week well, four, by week, four episodes. You'd be in. You'd be in May. Mm-hmm. You'd be in April. It starts yeah. end of March. Yeah, so. it starts end of March. So yeah, pretty yeah. much. 
Okay. So they're going to be... Will they be running? No, no, no. It'll end. Moon Knight will end and Obi-Wan will fin- it'll start. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's why they Obi-Wan missed out on the May the 4th. Transition. Yeah, okay. which is stupid, man. You could have had May the 4th. They could have had the most killer marketing campaign you could ever ask for. Find Obi-Wan May the 4th. I can't believe like, Miss Marvel has been pushed back. Now it's summer 2022. It was supposed to come out like in November. In November. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, that's Actually, crazy. Uh, speaking of Obi-Wan, uh, it drops 45 years after episode four. Exactly. Well, hold on. Obi-Wan May 25th, 1997. Oh. And Obi-Wan is May 25th, 2022. 1977. Sorry, 1977. That's crazy. Holy Are you cow. thinking like timeline in the Darien? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was like, okay, hold on. We're, we're no, uh, no, 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 like no, literal no, time, no, literal time. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, he's a <laughs> force <laughs> ghost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was confused. Oh, Holy <laughs> cow. Okay, see, I, I see I like that. that over that's cool. May the 4th. Yeah. I can see that. Initially, that's, that was that was Star Wars Day. And then the fans turned it into May the fourth. May the fourth, because but May twenty fifth was okay. Because it was well, you then, know, the anniversary yeah. of a new hope. Yeah, original Star no, Wars. That's Day. that's respectable. Okay, I'm fine I with can... it now. I had I had an issue with it. I'm cool with it. I'm good to the I'm day. Good. That's <laughs> yeah. cool. Yeah. That's really cool. Wow. So I figured we'd discuss the fact that your boy got the early access tickets to oh, the yeah. Batman premiere. Mm. Now, speaking they of, didn't announce this. Speaking of Batman. Your boy Michael sure, Keaton sure. signed on for three movies. Just wanted to throw that in there. What? Yeah. What? DC what? has no idea what they're doing. Wait, what wait. in the world? The dude? way it's phrased, at least three movies. So open to <sighs> more. Anyway, continue. And it, better that's news. like that's like resurrecting Christopher Reeves and asking him to reprise <laughs> his role as Superman. Yeah, it's like that. They're so out of <laughs> what ideas. What are you doing? <laughs> just, <It's> so bad. <laughs> stop. Just stop. It's gonna be Michael no. Keaton and Val Kilmer just ba- Batmaning across places and Nick <laughs> Val Cage. Kilmer <laughs> cannot play Batman anymore. Shut up. <laughs> that documentary was good. I, um, want, I want Arnold Schwarzenegger as Iceman again. Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze. Oh, oh my goodness. God. The pun of the senior citizens. Get, let me so, get Danny DeVito as Penguin. I'm sorry. Ice there is. Tape. No, okay, no. <laughs> da- I'm sorry. As amazing no, as Colin as Farrell penguin. looks, Danny DeVito as Penguin was terrifying as a kid. <laughs> terrifying. Yeah. Terrifying. Yeah. Good. It was good. Okay. Sorry. So, it, your boy got there. early release tickets to <laughs> yes. the Batman. Yes, yes, I did. So they announced <laughs> that on the day that the tickets went on sale, they announced that they were going to be doing uh, an early premiere of the Batman three days before the national release, which was pretty awesome because anytime we can get early premiere uh, uh, tickets, then that's, I mean, we're going to do it. I can think of, we did that for Batman versus Superman. I don't know if you remember that. We got a week early yeah. and that was a little... <laughs> I did. But, it. I did it for Into the Spider Verse. That was a good one. That was PR, cool. right? Yeah. No, no, no. That was here. I went with. Uh-huh. I went with Angel with Damien. And game was, was PR. Yeah. And game. But that's the ama- That's the the thing with movies that decide to do early access premieres. Generally, it's because they understand that their movie is good, if not great. And that's going to drive word of mouth. People then being like, again, you have to be there opening weekend. did say we did it for Batman versus Superman. I think I think we understand <laughs> DC is in a wrong. It was hyped. Yeah. It was hyped. Up, it was it hyped. Was, yeah. Yeah. The hype yeah. around it was great. Yeah. <laughs> I, okay. I want to discuss the Batman Do a little bit. Because I know, I know how much we're looking forward to it on the Ooh. podcast. I'm not sure how many of mm-hmm. our viewers and listeners are looking forward to it. But I feel like worldwide or nationally at least i feel like it's kind of like 50 50 really? because there's probably a lot of people who have like or are associating like, it with DC. right with dc or just a bad taste in their mouth or they're probably just tired of so many new batman we've had what in 10 years we've had like three or four you know what i mean well three probably bale affleck and now yeah pattinson keaton's coming back mm-hmm. west no, I- I feel like there was a, well, West died. Um, oh, yeah, West, I mean, still dead. Adam West. There's the Batman, Batman, Batman in um, what's it called in the Titan show? There was one. I I He's, just oh, I don't like know. Oh yeah, one right. Old yeah, I don't remember. Yeah. yeah, but like I feel like a lot of people. So I feel like box office wise, 
I feel like box office wise, this isn't gonna do that great. Now, I don't think so, man. Move, I think this is maybe, be amazing. Movie maybe wise, the outset. Movie wise is gonna be amazing. It's one of the top movies, but box office, I feel like it, it's gonna go either way. I can see like opening weekend it not doing phenomenal, and then but I think right. once once people start watching it and like yes. you know, like it the really back honestly end. is yeah. very good. I agree. Yeah. then like yeah. maybe the second or third week is where it's going right. to really pick up and more reviews come out and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. I would say that if they weren't doing the early premiere, I think that the purpose of this is to convince people that it's not one of those saturated trash movies. I, I mean, the early reviews from this thing for the people who saw it four months ago were not critics. Number one, they were regular people and That's were cool. out of this world. Yeah. So yeah, us regular people that are doing the, I think it's 380 IMAX theaters across the country. It's not that many. So that's it. And we got one in Plainville, wow. Connecticut. Yeah, it's a few thousand people. <laughs> what in the world? I know. It's a, <laughs> Is it a bingo thing. Like, ah, eh, Plainville. I, I feel like it's Plain, a few thousand. I feel people. like Plainville AMC is probably the most like right? popular AMC in Connecticut. I feel like it's it always sells out. For movies. It's in a good area. Yeah. It's a massive theater. It's newer. It's not breaking down. There's never I've, been any like anytime I mention AMC to people or IMAX, they usually say, Oh, Plainville. Oh, Plainville. So I feel yeah. like I feel like a lot of people know about it. Yeah. I didn't even realize the one in Southington, the, the Southington right? Theater yeah. turned into an AMC. Yeah. yeah. Right? They I just took out. literally it was, was it was it was regal. <laughs> it was regal. They did no modifications to it. They just slapped an AMC sign on it and kept it oh, all outdated. Okay. Like it was <laughs> That was a Regal theater? Yeah, years and years ago. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. But anyway. So I, I think I uh, slightly disagree a little bit. I think it's going to do phenomenal opening weekend. I could be totally wrong, but I think... It's okay to be I, wrong. I get what you're saying, but I think it's going to do... I think people have uh, doubts because of Pattinson. I, think, I, th- I, I don't think, think so. Awesome. I think that's like... Also, they keep seeing like, him at as Twilight main star. Whatever. I, that's what that's I'm why. saying. I feel like there's a lot of factors going into this that we don't see yeah. or don't think about because we don't care. But yeah. a lot of people do. The casual viewer. Oh, is like, that, eh. that guy's going to do it. They're yeah, doing another the Batman. Guy. He looks weird. It looks dark. It looks a lot of people <laughs> are like. So I feel like. You got to take those into consideration. Again, right. it's going to be a phenomenal movie it's, without it's a doubt in my mind. Yeah, we agree with that. Two yeah. hours, 55 minutes. If I had to guess, I, I think we're looking at movie of the year like for 150, me. $175 million opening weekend, Thursday through Sunday. Opening like weekend? Just, yeah, I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be like 90 opening. And that even, okay, Those 90 are very million different numbers. is yeah. amazing, first of all, for any Oh, he's still, yeah, oh it's yeah. still, yeah. That's what yeah. I'm saying. I'm not but, saying it's going to tank. I just think I guess it's one weekend, it's we'll not going to hit its like stride until like the second week when word of mouth comes out and that makes like, that know, makes more weekend. sense to me kyler I, I i agree with you on that well somebody mm-hmm. time stamp this down below and uh we'll come back to it. <laughs> we'll discuss it <laughs> we in shall the next. remember this yeah. yep next next uh futurama's coming back guys yep. oh, yeah no oh you kyler didn't see the you didn't see it no kyler? he doesn't see the boys man i don't Hulu, it. Hulu yeah. is re- resurrecting it with all the original voice actors all for of like them. 20 episodes I think. the only one yeah. who was on the fence about it oh, was okay. was bender um but they're they're like working with him i think he was discussing the contract it's whatever. that he didn't fi- yeah he didn't finish his contract by the time they announced it but yeah he'll be okay. back so as happy as i am because darren and i literally you want more you don't want 20. Up and it, it was no no actually i'm very content because that show got canceled i think three times there yeah. are three finales oh, wow. to that show, yep. and it, it, kept, it kept getting picked up again. But I feel like the last one was done so, like, it left perfectly. It, it was, was great. It was very well, like, and it ended. You were happy. You were satisfied. I'm almost worried that, like, you pick it up, and then it's like, oh, okay, it was, like, one more season, and it's just like, yeah. you didn't need that. Mm. It could be. That's how I feel about Toy Story 4. It was good, but, eh, you didn't need it. That's how Toy Story you 3 know. was. <laughs> Oh man, them fight oh, words. No, nah, we just ignore it. We just ignore it. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I'm incorrect. Once I heard the original voice actors are back, I'm like, okay, this oh, is it's, some cheesy. It's like blowing up. Breath. It's like blowing up on the internet right now. Everyone's going crazy about it. You see, it's and a- people like guys at work and stuff like that. They're always like, oh, that's like a stupid cartoon. 
the the one with um yo uh what was his Dog? name holy crap yes what was his name i can't believe i forgot his name there's an episode with where, where Fry's dog, he finds like the fossilized remains of his dog. And Seafried? Siegfried? Seymour. 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 Okay. Um, that is one that is, I think, the like first or second highest rated animated episode of anything ever. Really? It was like until the- until Attack on Titan came out. Attack on Titan holds 10 out of the 10 spots for highest rated anime episode or uh animated episodes i thought i thought clone I wars i thought clone wars uh with the new season it was very high up there <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i don't yeah, yeah, that's fair when i when i read the fact it was a while ago I, I don't remember where it was and i'm sure it's been replaced but it is a very good show if if you get a chance to watch it, it is very good it, okay. it absolutely. is absolutely Absolutely. So that was uh, something awesome. Violet? Uh, Okay. Uh, Let's see here. Oh, interesting. Um, More Marvel news. So as we know, Jane is going to be, you know, like a mighty Thor. Um, Yeah. She apparently the rumor is she can get her own project, whether it be a show or a movie. I'm not sure. Um, Her own standalone. At this point. I'm just assuming anyone who comes out in yeah. any movie is, is getting their own get standalone, their own, like standalone yeah. thing. Because I wouldn't just... mind. I actually wouldn't mind hers just because right. she's Natalie Portman, and I love Natalie cool. Portman. So, and she's Jack too now. So I mean, <laughs> like yeah, insanely, and, yeah, yeah. Oh so my give, god, I'm cool with that. That's actually pretty awesome. I'd watch that. <laughs> like if they said um, the Wasp is getting a spinoff, I'd be like, oh, I'd be like as hyped as that. Evangeline Lily, I love Evangeline Lily, but the Wasp is such a boring character that I just don't care for her. But I mean, listen, she's great. I guess. Um, um, so, hold up, Michael Giacchino. Oh yeah. I was literally gonna say that. I was literally gonna mention. Yeah. What were we talking about with him? Buzz He's Lightyear. Lightyear. Oh, oh my! This is God. a great segue Buzz. to that. Yeah, Lightyear. Holy trailer. trailer! The trailer, trailer looks so awesome. I am so, so excited queen. for Buzz Lightyear. Like, really, really excited for like a, a wholesome also, family, just like cartoon. Right? Movie. Yeah, it looks so it good. It looks so good. Taika's in the Lightyear cast as well. Really? really? Space recruits. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, he's not playing like the free guy character. Yeah. Oh, that's I right. I'm gonna take it one more time. <laughs> so stupid, dude. Oh, you want to have a thing? Get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, let me tell you, I, I immediately texted Wiley and I was like, I don't know what I expected from the actual trailer. Right. <laughs> it wasn't that, and that was amazing. Yeah, that was Zerg. It was so Zerg. Zerg. Awesome. Zerg. Zerg. Like, oh my legit. god, everything. <clears throat> I'm it's just so, so cool. excited because obviously, I mean, in the uh, Toy Story movies, you see like who Buzz Light you're supposed to be in the commercials, the video game that they were playing at the beginning yeah. of Toy Story 2. Right. But to see it actually happen, like what inspired those video games, that's going to be so good. What Chris, do you, Evans, Chris idea. Evans' voice is oh, it's Do you think he survives? Oh, shit. Yeah. The, the toy is based off of him, which means he's a mm. hero. It could be he's like an icon to people because he sacrifices life for the greater good or something. Nah. Do you, I wouldn't oh, be surprised. It's, it's Pixar. Oh, dark, you know right. they always hit you in the fields. It's yep. Pixar. Oh, yeah, someone lying. very loving and like precious is going to die. I don't think it's going to be Buzz because I could really? totally see them milking this for another like two movies. Uh, Pixar. What, what if they made a Woody movie? Uh, would you guys yeah. Would you guys be down for that? No, I'd have to see the Wild trailer. West. <laughs> Listen, and I, I would, and, and it would have to still be Tom Hanks. I wouldn't accept anyone else as Woody. Oh no, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh no, Buzz. Gotcha. I'm good. Oh no. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I didn't uh, understand. What yeah, he did. I didn't catch it until he said buzz. And I was like, oh. 
That's all I can do in that voice. Spot on. But, oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I I don't want a Woody movie, but I would watch it. That's my childhood. I would have to. Yeah, right. You're obligated. You're contractually obligated. Yes, it's like Fast and Furious 13. That was good. I'm there. <laughs> That's my will, but I'm there. I'm not, I'm not gonna enjoy it's, it. But it's just yeah. you have to make it interesting because the whole point of this movie yeah. is not the toy Buzz Lightyear. It's who the toy was based off yeah. of, and like yeah. they make it's a whole new story. It's but like still somewhat familiar. So you have to do that. If you were to do it with Woody, you would have to do something like that. And I don't. Whoever came up with that idea in the Pixar yeah. board, Ooh, board props to them deserves a raise. <laughs> that was. He was like, "What if we did a movie about Buzz, but not Buzz, like Buzz, Buzz, like yep. the person Buzz, played by Chris Evans?" I w- we'd be like, yes. "I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping. If I don't, I have no idea." I, we can look it up whoever created it or pitched it. I don't know if that's something that's like public information, but I'm hoping it's someone like us who was a kid when Toy Story came out and grew, grew up with that idea, watching it. Job like, at Pixar. Yeah, they were probably like, oh, my God, who is Buzz based off of? That would be so cool to see and see Zerg yeah. and see. And then they grew up with that idea for years, 20 years in their head and just like finally was able to pitch it. That would be dope. So it was uh, Angus McLean. Angus McLean, yeah, who's the director of Finding Dory, and he had the idea in his head for a <laughs> long time. Uh, and then he ended up talking to the screenwriter for Inside Out, which is one of Pixar's best movies. And that's Inside who, Out is one of their best movies. Bro, have you one s- of their highest rated movies? Have you seen Inside really? Out? I've seen it multiple times. Yeah, it, it's okay. a good movie. I like it. Bing I would put it at the stop ah. it. <laughs> Bing bang. Nah. Nah, don't hit me with Bing Bong, man. That Enough, is- I've never seen it. You, you're lying. Nah. <laughs> I hear it makes people cry. And Darian, cry. yeah, dude, I like practically dude, cry. Dude, you cry at commercials. What are you talking about? Well, have movie. you seen the dogs with one eye? Because I have a heart. Do you? <laughs> I have a <laughs> dog. Things, All right then. When they got like the one leg, you need to watch Inside Out. I'm sorry, dude. I know. It's I know. I know. I I'm gonna sit you down tape you to a chair and then tape your eyeballs open and force feed you all the classic Disney movies Josh, he's gonna have and the, Pixar. I, tears coming down his eyes open. Because for some reason, you deprived yourself of all of these well, things. Well, I saw Mulan, so I'm chipping away at <laughs> That's such a good movie. Did you it like is. it? it the, yeah. I loved it. The music was so yes. good. Let's get down, down, down to business. business. It was so, yeah, beach. so I have to watch Aladdin. The um, <laughs> Snow White, obviously, Cinderella. Uh, Pocahontas. Oh, uh, Pocahontas. Yeah. Have you ever seen Pocahontas, so, dude? I have not. Oh my <sighs> god, you're such Be an anomaly. Prepared. All right. Anyway, uh, so, I don't really have much more. We- Russell well, Crowe is joining Craven the Hunter movie as Craven's father. With Russell Crowe Johnson. would play a good Craven. Like, he would have to probably get into shape, though, right? Yeah. yeah. You're not wrong, though. Russell Crowe still... just has an intimidating presence. Do you see yeah. that, dude? He's just like... Is he still, like, huge from Unhinged? Or did he did he shed that weight? Uh, no, no. He's still... He was big before, before uh, that. Unhinged. Oh, was he? He did yeah. it. He was in a show or another movie where he was big, too, right? Something like that. Something like that. He gained a lot more weight for a different role. I forget what it was. He is genuinely one of the best actors Oh, wait. Ever. Didn't he... He played... Did he play Harvey Weinstein in something? I don't think. I think no, it's a little too soon for Harvey Weinstein maybe. biopic. <laughs> we got to give that like a few more years. <laughs> they will uh, do one. But... Yeah. No, there's, that's that's already in the works probably. <clears throat> well, now that I think about it, that dude controlled Hollywood. I don't know if they'd make a biopic on him. Uh, Why wouldn't yeah, they? Yeah, they will. He's... Yeah, they will. That's fair. You're right. It's Hollywood. Um, um, what was I going to say? Have you guys seen A Beautiful Mind? Uh no. You 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 guys need to watch a beautiful mind. Listeners, viewers, go watch a beautiful mind. Phenomenal movie. Russell Crowe. Cinderella Man. Also Cinderella about that movie. A beautiful mind? Yeah. Uh John Screen Knox, opens with black. I think is what his name is. He's a like a brilliant um scientist, but he had schizophrenia, undiagnosed schizophrenia. Uh, it's a true story too, and he had no idea until like really late into his life 
Um, and then it started like affecting him and his marriage and his relationships and stuff like that. Hmm. Really good though. Um, okay. Paul also, Bettany, Jennifer Connelly. Oh, okay. They're yeah. married. Yeah. They are married. Did you guys see the Oscars picks? Yes. No, but Wiley was going to say something. I'm so, yeah, thank you, Joey. Gotcha. Um, he didn't play Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> I'm so sorry. He played Roger <laughs> Ailes, the Fox founder. Oh, yes. He in the TV in... miniseries. The... What's it called? Okay. Um, I thought it was Bombshell, but I didn't know. No, it was called The Loudest Voice. It was a miniseries, a show. But, okay. But yeah. similar. So that's why I kind of. Yep. Yep. Uh, I was going to say, uh, Dune got. I, I know, Joe, you're not really into the Oscars like that. Kyler, I don't think you are either, right? How do you feel about the Oscars? I mean, Coffee? I like to hear who won certain things if I'm interested in the nominees. I love it. So, first of all, Kenneth Branagh got. Uh, nominated in seven categories, and he's the first man to ever be nominated in seven categories for Belfast. Dude's a legend. He got nominated for Best Picture, Best Director, Best Scri- uh, Screenwriter. It's, he's in everything That's with that wild. movie. Uh, Dune got nominated for Best Picture. Uh, as much as I want it to win, I don't think Dune will take Best Picture. Who, who else has it? Um. Power of the Dog is that Netflix movie with Benedict Cumberbatch, Kirsten Dunst. Um, I think that one will win. He's also nominated for Best Actor, uh, Cumberbatch, for that yeah. role. Mm-hmm. Really? And I think he might take it. If I had to guess, I think he'll probably win Best Actor. In in the list, I'm going to pull it up. Um, sure. But um, in, in the for- list, I don't see anyone else that would probably beat him out for. Uh, maybe Denzel for Macbeth, but. Maybe, yeah. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, Denzel remember that movie Macbeth that came out? No. Nope. Uh, yeah, there was like twelve people that watched it, but <laughs> yeah, uh, the reviews okay. were kind of eh. mm-hmm. perfect example. But that's the movie that would win. Yeah, the Oscars to me are like America's Got Talent. There are so many movies that are nominated, and you're like, this movie deserves it, but you know it's going to go to like the depressing one poor depressed like kid yeah. who plays guitar who was like parents died in a nuclear explosion in hiroshima yeah. but somehow like it, it's like the most ridiculous thing and they, it always goes to the same type of thing and it's it's Correct. so like predictable you're just like i don't know why yeah. i bother you never watching. who you expect to win actually wins no it's always it's who be- you exactly expect to win it's never who no you, want to win. you just or, yeah. choose the random yeah, name yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true yeah <laughs> it's because there's movies that are legitimately oscar bait movies where you see the trailer for the movie and you know okay yeah the f- literally so- the first trailer i saw for the uh the revenant with leonardo yes, i was like oh there's exactly. his oscar immediately the first thing i said there's his oscar and generally it's movies that are created around a character to allow them to shine. So um, a lot of times slavery movies do that kind of thing, like 12 Days a Slave. Those movies years. allow the actors to like years. really yeah. like show their skill. Mm-hmm. Um, or movie like uh, Moonlight is another one where it tackles, I mean, that thing tackled what homophobia, racism, uh, growing up in the, the ghetto. It was like every box you could check for Oscars and it won. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you see Shape of Water, which was another thing. Love story between alien and woman yeah, directed by Guillermo del Toro. Everything, you know? True. So, all right. Um, I'm excited. Quickly down the list. Best director, you got Paul Thomas Anderson for Licorice Pizza. Kenneth Bernal for Belfast. Jane Campion for Power of the Dog. Uh, Ryosuke Hamaguchi for Drive My Car. And Steven Spielberg for West Side Story. Oh, West Side Story is all over the place on yeah, the Oscars. It too. really is. Have you best, seen best it? picture? No, I've been wanting to. Just never got around yeah. to it. I want to watch it. Um, best actress, you have Jessica Chastain for The Eyes of Tammy Faye. She, I saw that movie. She absolutely killed it. And Andrew That's Garfield, great. And Andrew Garfield killed it also. He was in that movie. Yeah. That's the, the couple. I remember that talking about the, podcast, everyone. the, the that's, church couple. Yeah, that scammed a lot, bunch of people, uh, like a TV evangelist type of thing. Yeah. Oh. Jessica Chastain is a she's great actress. very gifted yeah. actress. She's yeah. very good. Um, 
Olivia Coleman, the lost daughter, Penelope Cruz, Nicole Kidman, Kristen Stewart for Spencer, the Princess Diana um, biopic. So, yeah. Nice. That's a weird movie, though. Yeah. I've seen a, a few things. It's like more not really like a biopic biopic. A lot of it it's like is a like twist in on her it. head. Right. Yeah. Like stuff that she's perceiving as Diana, not stuff that actually happened. It's weird. Yeah, well, it's, Can you it's, do best actors yeah. and then uh, best picture? Those yeah. The, best actor is next. And then, uh, yep. Um, Javier Bardem for being the Ricardos. Mm-hmm. Benedict Cumberbatch for Power of the Dog. Andrew Garfield for Tick, Tick, Boom. Um, yeah. Really? Yeah, I really like Andrew Garfield. This is probably one... not going to win, but the fact that he's nominated, you know is who, awesome. you know who can awesome. win? Will Smith for King Richard. Another Oscar bait movie. Yeah, which I, what, got good reviews. Yep. So Did it's not bad. It? I haven't watched no. it. I wanted to watch it. I haven't watched it Me yet. Either. Yeah, but That's it looked really good. Tick Tick Boom as well. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then Denzel for Tragedy of Macbeth. Yep. Um, and then is Tragedy of Macbeth like, like an actual shakespeare like or yeah it's it's take shakespeare take a24 and then take denzel washington and francis mcdormand just i mean and this insane cast of legitimate like thespian actors and put it into that movie and you get that it it wasn't made for like the common folk (laughs) that's the best way i could put it for our not wrong (laughs) yeah um all right, best picture. You have Belfast. You have it, literally there's like ten movies that got nominated for best picture. You have Belfast. Yeah. You have Coda. You have Don't Look Up, which I want to talk about because there's some controversy about that. Um, Drive my car. Picture. Yeah. Drive my car. I don't I haven't seen anything about that. Um, Dune. King Richard. Licorice Pizza. Um, Nightmare Alley, which is a Guillermo of the Toro, so um, yeah. the power of the dog, um, and West Side Story. So the power of the dog. The director is Jane Campion. She's mm-hmm. uh, the only female director to ever be nominated twice for best director. So that's pretty awesome this year. There's like a couple records that are being set. Hmm. Um, cool. And Spielberg is the most nominated human ever in the Oscars now. <laughs> Let's so, go. Yeah. So. Do you know awesome. who, it's like the Super Bowl. Do you know who the most winningest Oscar person is? I'm going to guess. It's not Christopher Nolan, and that's a crime. Yeah. I'm going <laughs> to guess uh, George Clooney. Am Any right? other guesses? Any other, Anyone else want to guess? It's going to blow your mind. What's the answer? What's the answer? I, mm. If I'm like 90% sure, I read this somewhere, and you could look it up after if you want to prove me wrong. Yeah. John Williams. What? For composing, My boy. Oh well, you know what? That makes sense. He did Superman. He's Indiana done everything. Jones, Star done Wars. <laughs> Those are like the three of the biggest things ever. He's done a ton of stuff. I I could totally see that. Yeah, I believe I believe so. I remember reading that. Unless I read most winning like composer, but I believe it's just overall Oscars. Wow, Meryl Streep has received twenty one nominations for Best Actress. That is insane. Holy cow. That is wild. You, every year for decades, she is sitting on the best actress. Like, it's a possibility. Yeah. That's so crazy. That's insane. But Jeez. anyway, um, I just wanted to. This is the Super Bowl for yeah, have, Files. Have you seen um, <laughs> Jimmy Kimball was like outraged about the Oscars? Jimbo mm. Kimball, yeah. yeah of, because they, because. He's like, why is Don't Look Up in this nomination list and not Spider Man? He's like, oh, yeah. He he was like, uh, literally, and in spite, they were pushing for an Oscar nomination for Best Picture, but I, they didn't get it. Really? Um, yeah, they are Oscar nominated though for Best Visual Effects, but I believe that'll go to Dune. Oh yeah, yeah, should yeah. Um, he was like, you're telling me on a list of 10 nominations and only like 11 movies came out this year. <laughs> Spider-Man isn't one of them. Yeah. We literally had three Spider-Man. It's gross, like a, over a billion dollars, 750 domestically. If, yeah. if Black Panther got nominated for a best picture, then you have to keep the same energy and yeah. no way home. If you That's were using fair. the same rubric would be nominated for best picture. That's but, a fair assessment. Yeah. Cause there's, hmm. is there like a cap? 
to how many ten. nominations there can be for each category? Ten, ten. Is max. I think. Ten for best picture. Yeah, they they upped okay. it. Uh, I think seven years ago, which in two thousand eight, when the Dark Knight did five. Dark Knight wow. was, doubled it. Good lord! Yeah. Dang. Dark Knight would have been nominated, and it probably would have won. But in two thousand eight, they only had five, and it missed out on the nomination. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Interesting. All I'm right. surprised uh, at this point that they don't have like a comic book section of the Oscars. <laughs> these be movies, you can <laughs> be get voted best picture. Like they can do it. Eternals had a shot. It, it wasn't. It didn't pan. Honestly, out, you know, it wasn't as great. But. Honestly, yeah. All the other nominations are what five, and the amount of comic book movies we're getting, you can get best comic adaptation. Yeah, that's what right. I'm saying. It doesn't have to be best comic book movie, but. Some yeah. kind of like fancy verbiage to pretty much you have say, DC movies. We have a lot of movies now. We can start throwing some of these. Right, in you have DC know, movies, movies, DC shows, DC shows. You have it's just best Marvel movie of the year. That's what the, the <laughs> <is in the titles>. <laughs> <laughs> all five movies from Marvel are nominated. Right. Like, you have DC movies. You have Marvel movies. You have what well, you can even throw manga in there if you want to throw like anime movies that they or something. I don't know. I, like I don't know. I feel like there's there's other there's comics that also come to life. People. Yeah. Yeah. But whatever. That's fair. All right. Any All right. Yeah, news? that's pretty much it. That's it for that's me. It for you. That's thank you. you. Thank one you. last one. So Warner Brothers is thinking of making Edge of Tomorrow a TV series. Give it to me. Give it to me. You all know how much I love Edge of Tomorrow. Oh, my goodness. A TV huh. series. But where would it? And it's by Warner Brothers. Interesting. Yeah. Wait, who do they have any like no, they just they mind? just want to want to make a tv series well that's a good one. i love it there's that's a whole world of information we yeah. stuck in this small little military base for the entire movie imagine <laughs> seeing the cities that were affected by it yeah that would be I'm just thinking about the, the real scene <laughs> <laughs> the push up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um do we want to uh, do we want to talk boba quick Oh, should. yeah. All right. Let's dedicate. I think we said last one that we would. We'll dedicate six minutes to wrapping up our six. season of Boba. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. That's feel, not a lot of time. I feel like okay. give me the overall review of what you thought of the last episode in the season. Or I'm sorry, Joe, you, you do it. Who has who has a positive outlook on uh, this finale? On the finale or the show as a whole? But well, we'll I have mine. Finale. It's positive either way for me. Yeah, right. more positive let's, let's than negative. Why we start. Are, are there why we negative start. outlooks in the? In... Oh, oh, yeah, there is. Uh, well, yeah, in the community. We haven't. Right. We haven't talked. Anyway. in the community, I can imagine it's Star Wars. Start. You started a timer, Darren. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Go. Um, <clears throat> overall, as a season, I'm gonna say. I want to say seven point five. <laughs> I mean, I'll round it up to an eight. Um, it, it, my reasoning okay. is. I feel like if you take it for what it is, um, it wasn't supposed to be any like crazy mind boggling show, you know, yeah. I, th in, in the way I view it and, and surprisingly, I've seen a few people on TikTok view it the same way. It's literally called the book of Boba Fett. So if you take it as if this is still the Mandalorian series and this is just a book in that series where you mm -hmm. progress other characters and more story. And then you'd go back to the main topic, which is will be Mandalorian that's season cool. three. That's cool. Yeah. Um, I just thought it was Star Wars Godfather. Also. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but overall, I think it was good. The finale, plenty of things wrong with it, but plenty of things right with it. Um, I, I guess I'll let you guys talk more about that. But yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll discuss the finale after we give reviews. Of the yeah. Season. Mm -hmm. But that's my overall but, review. Go ahead, D. Um. So I, I'd probably end up with a uh, a seven, a comfortable seven. Uh, I wouldn't say 6.5, 7.5, I'm a comfortable seven. Um, there were plenty of problems with this show. And one of the more glaring ones was Luke, Ahsoka, Grogu, and Mando just completely overtook this show. Like <laughs> this thing was a small town crime syndicate in most S, but this was Boba Fett's time to shine and discuss negotiations with crime families and stuff like that and instead of using that opportunity we got you know the tuscan raider side story for three episodes which was cool three episodes was too long but it was cool and then we get two full episodes of 
Mandalorian season three or 2.5. And then we go back to having to tie up the loose ends, but, and right. they did tie them up, but it's just, it was, I think they had a lot of missed opportunities with the show, but that being said, I enjoyed it. I was waiting every week for the episode. So nice. I agree. Nice. Kyler. Pretty much everything everyone else has said, I would, I'd say seven is a, is a good right. uh, spot to land on. Um, I, I wouldn't go too much higher because like Darian said, the best two episodes and nobody can possibly argue were the two that Boba Fett was not in. Unfortunately, yeah. not that I don't like the show before that or after those two episodes, I still enjoyed it. We talked about it here on the podcast, but it, you can't, compare what we had with boba with what we got with the two mando episodes it's just you can't the second right. one with mando the episode six was a completely fan service episode from dave filoni and it was perfect <laughs> in every possible way yeah. luke skywalker training with grogu uh oh. spoilers by the way and in, in a Too mirror late, yeah. image of the dagobah scene yep. in empire strikes back Ahsoka Maybe. just popping up casually, leaning up against like a tree. We got to see R2. We got to see Grogu using the force. And Order 66. Using the training dro- Order 66 oh flashbacks, goodness. like PTSD. It was amazing seeing uh, Mando use the Darksaber again. It literally, I would not change a single thing. Cad freaking Bane popping up for the first time in live action. Yeah. We could talk about it. But yeah, and then you go back to the finale, which compared to how like wildly (laughs) just like throwing crazy stuff at you, the last two episodes were, it was like, oh, okay. Eh, And then you get that, you get that random mod doing a spin for no freaking reason and shooting his blaster. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Oh my goodness. Dude. But yeah. Yeah. I agree with all you guys, Seven. You guys. I can't even say any more to that because right. literally it didn't feel like a Boba season. It was just, they brought him back, explained yeah. how he survived and then just kind of like pushed, pushed it away. Right. And yeah, we'll I, I could have gone without a, but like I could have gone without this. Yes. Addition. Like I think right. all of us could have, it was cool, but yeah. changes nothing for me. I mean, he doesn't even want the job. Yeah, he doesn't even want it at the end of the season. He doesn't he's want like, it. This is not for us. All right, <laughs> my guy. Like, okay. I wait. I wasted three episodes for yeah. what? His character arc was like, yeah, was like <laughs> very strange. Uh, my, I will. Uh huh. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. ahead. I was gonna say my main issues with the season or the finale overall. Yes. Um, the mods felt completely out of place. I said that before and i've sticking to it don't i don't like them they don't belong um the the progression i I agree as well that was just like really weird how it is it it was stupid um (laughs) you have you go from getting a rancor as a gift then to the next time you see him being ridden where are like the where's the bonding montages where's the training where's the you know I feel like I needed more Danny Trejo. I, yeah, exactly. I, I needed something to show that progression. You just go from that to immediately the writing. Yeah, there's no yeah. background. So I don't know. That's what was happening while Mando was like right. off, like right. gallivanting across yeah. the galaxy. <laughs> it was missed opportunities. One of the, I got two issues here. One <laughs> was this felt very much like a Robert Rodriguez episode instead of a star wars episode it just didn't it didn't feel it felt very dumb yeah a lot of times and i was like oh that like that was really dumb and i don't like that i'd rather you know treat the the people with respect and then the second thing the mo the the vespa stupid people dude i gotta mention (laughs) it again it's so angering seeing them there's it's so stupid it's so dumb and then the Rancor going full King Kong on the That's castle. What I said. Yep. That's what I said. Yeah. Oh, okay. Why oh. are they shooting him? Why are they shooting him? He was going he, home. He just saved you guys, and then you shoot him. Oh, he's loose. Like, ah. and, then, <laughs> and why? <laughs> and why is it that the entire episode they're shooting at the shields of the droid, and as soon as the shield is down, they stop shooting? That's what I said. 
I why? told my dad, I was like, the shields are down. Why are you guys just watching it? Now, like, at the entire episode, pew, 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 shield, 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 uh, shield. Oh, shield down? Dumb. It was dumb, <laughs> dude. It was so dumb. <laughs> There's a lot of like common oh, my sense goodness. things where you're like, what? just do this and this would have been Let's go back to done. the spin. Uh, yeah. The spin yeah. was it, the why spin was so ridiculous. Not, a blaster didn't even fly back past him. Like he wasn't dodging anything. It was mm-hmm. literally just like it was a and Robert then, Rodriguez the, move. That's when what he was, was on the bike. It was just one shot. It was it was annoying. The negotiations, that one shot. Were, negotiations were so dumb and yeah. so like that was such. You had in episode what was it? Maybe three, I think it was, where he was at the table with the crime bosses, and I'm like, I want more of this. This mm-hmm. is what I wanted this show to be. It's like and drama. Then it's, yeah, and then yeah. in this episode, they just like toss the Twilight dude out. He does like a joke. It was funny, and that's the negotiation. And then he talks with Cad Bane, which is awesome. But that was it. And it's like you never really understand why would the crime bosses betray him. His his offer was it was great. Why wouldn't right. like you all could have lived in harm? It made no sense. There was no motivation. I thought Boba was gonna be hard, but like Cad Bane said, man, he's soft. Yeah, too soft, too soft, too soft. It's not. It's not. Stabbed him through the heart with his gaffy stick. Oh my god! Yeah, (laughs) where was he hiding that? It was on his. Why? (laughs) That was a large thing. It's hard to conceal that. I don't think it collapses either. You bring Cad Bane back, and then live action in the next episode. Well, I mean, the dude's like eighty years old. How much more can he really do? Yeah, that that was why not let him walk off. It, yeah. yeah, you. The first time Could have been you better. see him in live action is the last time you see him. Yeah, yeah. I could have. I could have. And, it, and it's, he's still it. and the it's, fastest guy yeah. with a gun. He's the fastest, and he's still agile. He rolled shooting freaking bullets. And it's all based, nasty. It's all based off of a rematch, right? This was like you know they're facing off again the unaired yeah. over Wars. an unaired, unedited like not finished raw footage, raw footage of Boba yeah. and Cad Bane going against each other originally in the Clone Wars. Yep. So mm-hmm. only like true fans got that because we were like, oh, yeah. wow, look at this unfinished and deleted scene. And so we're like, oh, it's a rematch. But no one else really knows that. You know what I mean? And it was great. I just. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I I didn't know I really needed Boba and Mando fighting side by side in jetpacks. With the jetpacks, and, and, jetpacks? And shooting. That was, cool. and, that was very it was, cool. That whole awesome. scene was awesome. The the, yeah. the knee rockets and uh, it was so dope. Okay, <laughs> well, as amazing as they were, at what point were <laughs> he they used like, them too much? Yeah. You know what? No, 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 yeah. no, not that. <laughs> at what point did they go to the armor and be like, "Okay, I need rocket launchers." Like, oh, okay, for a jetpack. No, 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 no. On my knees, <laughs> like, it's gonna be great in this one very specific situation. I guess Trust it makes me. sense because he crouches a lot, and, uh, and so. And you when know. did Mando get that? They've never showed him with that, and then he used it like twice. I don't know. Like, you didn't have that before. The jetpacks and another dope, though. I, I, the yeah. jetpacks it killed me because it was amazing. They were flying in there and just destroying everyone, and then they decide to land and do a front flip. And I'm like, why would you land? You were you were crushing it. Your jetpacks have more fuel. We watched you guys fly alongside ships. You can stay up there. What or are we when doing? he was on his back <laughs> with like the rank or the the uh, droid thing, why didn't you just activate your jetpack and just like scooch? Yeah. yeah. So you don't get impaled multiple times. A lot of dumb. That was a common that sense stuff me. that I was like, yeah. But the whole scene where he and uh, Mando and Boba were in the ruins of the the bar, and he, Mando was just like, I'm "Yeah, here, like I'm you're, I'm going down with you." If you're you my creed. creed. Yeah. You're by the creed. Yeah. Like you die, I die. Like yeah, that was yeah, cool. that was yeah. awesome. Thank the, you, like thank loyalty you. there yeah, was <laughs> really really cool. I like that. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Okay, we spent a lot of right. time on Boba. We hit the six minute yeah. mark, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, we 11. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. six minutes wasn't a lot of time. Sorry, we were over time. We were over time. We were over time. Okay. Uh, any last words, everybody? No? I think that's everything. I think that's it. That's everything? Yeah. Darren, you want to give us a send off? Sure. Put you on the spot. Come on. That's uh, on behalf. <laughs> that's light. Out on, on the Light Pole Podcast. <laughs> that was terrible. Are you <laughs>